The study was initiated to look specifically at what happened um, when the food price crisis hit first quarter of 2007 until the first quarter of 2008 when the prices of many commodities spiked. We were asked to look at the nutrition implications of the food price crisis. We combined uh, econometric modeling and techniques with um, public health nutrition expertise to look at changes in the household calorie intake. We focused on Latin America um, in seven countries in Latin America. And uh, we used data from household budget surveys. We looked at the changes in the food basket composition arising from changes in the food prices. We're especially concerned with um, what many people call luxury goods. And these are foods that tend to be more um, demand elastic, price elastic. Um, as prices rise, uh, households are less likely to buy them and they'll shift to lower quality foods. And luxury foods include important nutrients like iron, zinc, uh, vitamin A, that we also know that many populations are deficient in, in developing countries. We looked at a calorie threshold, what would be required um, to maintain healthy living for households per capita. And there was an 8% reduction across these seven Latin American countries. And it ranged from 1% up to 15% agriculture households um, in rural areas were just as negatively affected as urban households in terms of nutrition. Now this finding was slightly different from um, many of the poverty analyses w which have found that um, the situation in urban areas has been worse as a result of the food price crisis. But in terms of nutrition, rural areas tend to be worse off to begin with. But then we further stratified households, looking at households with children who, have, um, who are less than two years of age. So when you have a reduction in calories for, those, for that population, it can be pretty serious. Now that the calorie intake analysis is complete, we'll now move to focusing on the country of Guatemala. And we are looking um, in particular at changes in these micronutrients. Um, so sort of using the same methodology of the, the quadratic almost ideal demand system, um, assigning nutrients to all the foods that are reported by the household, looking at the change um, in the food basket, pre-crisis, post-crisis, and then looking at how those particular nutrients are affected and the nutrient intake in that household. And we're focusing on um, vitamin B12, vitamin A, iron, um, zinc, and um, that's all, the folate. Um, just to, to be sure that we, we look at those nutrients that are important in the diets of those people.